Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Cancer, I'm going to do your uh, November reading for you now. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, before I start, just a quick uh, note to say that tonight I am live again at nine o'clock GMT time. That's nine o'clock GMT London time. Uh, doing my Veritas Tarot live, uh, an evening with spirit, your questions answered. So I'm going to pull a, a short general reading. And for those that are watching and for those that spirit intends to watch afterwards and then I'm going to pull as many cards as possible in response to questions that you put in the comments so um, we've been doing this now this is now I think the fourth one uh, and it's been great fun um, and uh, so do join me tonight uh, I'm using new decks again so I'm using the sacred destiny oracle um, I'm going to be using my mystical tarot and also my spirit animal and maybe a couple of others as well I'm using those again for your reading today um, I do like to keep it fresh and I'm sure spirit does too so do join me tonight the uh time there is an announcement on there on my channel and uh, do check your time zone so that's 9 p.m gmt london time all right my darlings let's move forward with the reading uh this is for those that most need to hear the messages uh today uh, you will always be guided at exactly the right time you need to hear a message. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it simply means this message was not for you at this time. So I'm going to start off with my Sacred Destiny Oracle, and then we'll move forward into the tarot. This is for cancer, for those that most need to hear the message. So you've got a voyage has appeared for you. It's just flown out of the card. So maybe some of you are looking to do some traveling at this time, or you're looking to do some form of planning for uh, uh, traveling. Um, this is the humpback whale. Let me show you again. So the humpback whale, um, for spirit and I sort of understanding of this, it's like the cosmos. The whale represents the cosmos. It's kind of a completion of something that you've been doing. And the whale as well is an extraordinary communicator. And it's a reminder about communicating from a place of feelings, feels rather than thoughts, because our thoughts sometimes can be very harsh on ourselves. Um, and critical of ourselves and of others. So it's a reminder, whatever communication you're doing at this time, it's very important that it's heart led, it's not thought led. Um, and um, get ready, Spirit is saying, to embark on something. So whether you're not actually looking to do physical, physical traveling at this time, this is a, a voyage of the unknown for you. This is a voyage of uh, kind of inner, uh, development, uh, whether you're looking to do as well a project or something that you're focusing on this time, get ready. Um, and, and Spirit is saying, you know, where do you want to go? What is the next greatest, grandest version of who you are, my darling? What have you always wanted to do, but never quite been brave enough to do it? Maybe this is the time for you to do it. This is to get prepared and get ready to enjoy this, this journey that you're on, which is wonderful. Um, so let's see what our spirit has for you. Thank you. And, and the whales as well, I think it goes back, isn't it, sort of to fable time as well, as well, kind of considered protectors of travelers. So you will be protected on this journey that you're on. There's two more things that have flopped, flipped out for you. You've got enlightenment. So this very much for me, this journey that you're on is very much one of trusting in the universe, trusting in the universe, the omniverse, all that is, everything that's arranged in a beautiful and metrical rhythm. And this journey that you're doing is, is going to lead you to a greater expansion, a greater understanding, a greater awareness of everything that's happening for you, your connection to the universe through your soul, um, events and things that are unfolding for you. I do apologize for one of my little dogs who is snoring in the background, so I apologize for that. Um, and you are so much, Spirit is saying, you are so much more than what you feel or you believe you believe you are. So please try and believe in yourself at this time. Please believe in yourself at this time. It's a very important message for you. And then you've got wisdom. And this is um, just a gorgeous deck, a gorgeous card here. And this, again, is a lot of water here for you here with the whale and then now with, um, with the wisdom card. So very much cancer, a cancer card. Um, she always picks a moment. Daisy, shh, darling, shh, 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 shh. Um, so <laughs> this is, if you look at this, this card, okay, this is wisdom here. This is the real depths of the ocean here. Do you see on the sort of ocean floor? And so things may not be quite what they appear on the surface. 
this is a message for you here now. The surface sometimes can appear calm and sometimes it can appear choppy and rough. And so if you're going through a challenging, a rough stage at the moment, just trust that that surface has very little to do with what's happening deep within, in the depths of the ocean there. And uh, things may not be quite as what you're feeling there being, but everything is happening. I mean, there's so much happening underneath the surface of the ocean that we're unaware of. So just trust in that, that things are unfolding the way they're meant to. You are going through a change, a transformation, a voyage um, at the right timing for you. And all of these things will, all of these understandings, this awareness, this enlightenment will unfold as it's meant to. So even if you feel you're not believing in yourself and not trusting in yourself at this time and not really... Um, believing that you can do this, those shifts, those changes within you, deep within you, uh, and the experiences and what you're calling out to the universe subconsciously to happen, what your soul is bringing forth, are going to help you at this time. And then you've got new beginnings, which has appeared for you as well. So new beginnings, this is a, a card, obviously about something completing, something new, something has left, to allow something else to come in. This is a time, this, this voyage, this journey that you're going on is, is going to be a time of renewal for you, not, repeat, not repeating things, not recycling things. This is a renewal time for you. You're, you're, you're moving away from reactionary times, reacting things that you've done before. This is a great time of healing and hope for you. And if this is something that you're thinking about in terms of... Um, what you love to do, your creative expression, what you're drawn to, Spirit is saying, do it now. This is a chance, it's new beginnings for you. Um, and there is such, you know, when you focus on something with um, that creative expression, that's your soul speaking to you because, you know, your soul is like this piercing um, voice that comes through in your creative expression. So we were created to create. And when we're within that space, we are listening to our intuition, we're listening to our soul. And it allows a lot of other jumbled thoughts that that choppy waters to kind of just disappear because we're putting ourselves in the moment we're going with the flow of the creative expression and when we're in that flow where attention goes energy flows so just focus now on what it is that you really are desiring at this time and, and what it is that you love to do or um, something that you have wanted to do for a long time but haven't quite felt brave enough to do so and keep it simple spirit saying keep it really simple um, what's that expression? Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it really, really simple at this time. Don't overthink this. Just one step at a time, one step at a time. And spirit is giving you signs and synchronicities. Everything is unfolding. It's 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 a lovely, lovely message for you there, my darling. Right. Uh, and also, thank you, spirit. Simplify your life at the time. If there is clutter around you, get rid of it. You know, every object, everything has an energy attached. And if it's things in your life that have a, a, a kind of negative energy to them and you want to get rid of them, just, just, just recycle them, renew them, recycle, move them on to another home. Um, and uh, just, just try and de in decluttering your space, you declutter the space in your mind as well. So what else is coming out for you? So you've got here um, the King of Autumn. This is the King of Pentacles. So this is a very, you know, autumn is about the harvest, the abundance, things coming in, things that have come into blossom, have gone through the blossoming stage, have come into flower, have come into fruit. So this is a beautiful time for you to start to harvest in appreciate knowing what opportunities and things are coming forth to you at this time this is the king of autumn so this card is the king of pentacles and so you are very good at whatever it is that you do you're very good at it it's almost like you have the midas touch and things do blossom under your care things do get created so um this is just a reminder for you because you already know this and I think you've lost some confidence in this. Um, and this King of Pentacles as well, this is called the Gypsy Vanna Horse. Everything is going to turn out great. It says projects will be stunningly successful, exciting new career opportunities are possible and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely. So what Spirit is saying here is that reassurance for you, but there's also another message in this that remain committed to what it is that you're looking to do. 
don't step away from it from fear when you make choices make them from that the the the, the place of the heart make them from trust hope belief knowing love don't make them from fear and anxiety because then you're just going to cause more seeds of that to grow rather than a beautiful blossoming abundance that's coming in uh, to you into your life um and this horse is moving at a pace it's it's at a canter i wouldn't say it's a gallop so things are happening for you if you were but to look and see. So just imagine that everything around you, which it, which it is, is all working for you. You're the center of your own universe. What has come in for you recently that may have come in out of the blue? What opportunities that have come in from left field? What things have come into fruition? What it is where you are right now? Was it something that you've manifested that you wish that you'd had? A week ago, a month ago, a few years ago, has it all come to play as you thought it might do? You are manifesting, my darling, all the time, consciously or subconsciously. Please remember that because it's very, your thoughts are very powerful. Where attention goes, energy flows. Your thoughts are powerful. Your actions are powerful. Your words are powerful. So just those are the three tools of creation. Um, so, and you are much more grounded than you feel um and you know because you are incredibly charismatic as well these things do unfold for you too now you've got uh this card here which is number five which is unity and this is the polar bear um so this for me is the hierophant uh, card that's popped out for you here um i and on the bottom of the deck you've got the prince of autumn which which is the uh, knight of pentacles as well which is lovely this card is unity. I just want to show you here. There is somebody or something, there is some, you're either very interested in spiritual, um, learning spiritualism at the moment, spirituality, uh, healing, or there is a healer that's there to help you at this time. Um, polar bears are considered very rare, very beautiful. So whatever advice it is that you're looking to receive, it is something that is purely for you. It is unique to you. Uh, and it is a rare piece of, of a, a gift that has just been given to you at this time. Um, it's a time for you to embrace whatever changes that you are going through at this moment. Um, and with this Hierophant card, it's also about listening, not just listening to reply, but listening to understand. And also listen and silent contain the same letters when we are not busy doing but we're much busier just being we're allowing ourselves to receive that insight as well that's meant to be coming through for you and then you have this prince of autumn on the bottom of the deck which is the knight of pentacles here so there is something movement this is a knight this is movement coming towards you is this something that's to do with whatever it is that you're looking to manifest from a um a career point of view, a, a creative expression point of view, or uh, is this somebody that's coming towards you? Because whoever, whatever or whomever this is, it's coming forward within its own unique space and time. It's coming forward at exactly the right time. It's coming forward when it suits you perfectly and it suits the project or the creative expression or the other person perfectly as well. The Knight of Pentacles is the tortoise. It's the tortoise and the hare. It's the slow, steady, dependable, uh, trust, trustworthy, everything that you uh, have manifested from that, from that space within yourself. Um, and it is to be trusted. So whatever this movement towards you, it is to be trusted. This is the seahorse here. The seahorse represents uh, some somebody as well who's very balanced within their emotions they have learned through sheer willpower to balance themselves because they've gone through experiences in order for that to happen um and uh so just trust that whatever's coming in for you thank you spirit and now you've got the four of cups that just appeared at this point of time and there's the tortoise so like i said the tortoise and the hair story um here's the tortoise there is with this four of cups a tendency within you to focus on things that have happened and regrets that you may have had and and wonderings about whether you should have done this or done that and why isn't this happening when you're in this space of this four of cups you are not seeing you're not allowing yourself to see because you are 
um, resisting because you're in a resistance space. You're not accepting where you are is where exactly where you should be. Um, and when you're in that space, you're not seeing things that are coming in for you, opportunities that are trying, the universe is trying to give you at this time um, for that slow, beautiful move forward. So with this Four of Pentacles, please be aware that there is there is something trying to come in for you. And I can see this now with the uh, with the um, Knight of Pentacles as well. And I feel that with this, um, this Hierophant card, your commitment to what you're wishing for, your commitment to what you're looking to manifest is the way forward for you to have that utter faith and, and trust on your journey, whatever this is, this journey with this humpback whale and the communication that you're doing, as long as you're speaking from the right space, you will receive it too, my darling, because whatever messages you're trying to give out at the moment, if they're coming from this space, if they're coming from the space of love, if they're coming from the soul space, it doesn't really matter how a somebody receives a message from you. It's how you speak it, because in speaking it, you receive it. Um, but you are being protected at this time. And I'm gonna finish with the six of spring, which is the six of wands. If you continue to give your energy, in the direction and the movement, that's where your focus is. Retention goes, energy flows. Keep giving your energy in that direction with a beautiful, playful enjoyment, trusting and believing it's all unfolding for you. You are, the spirit is saying, this is success, this is victory, this is achievement of your goals. And it is recognition for yourself that you have done this. So do trust that that is where you're heading at this moment in time darling um and uh it i'm just seeing what it says on the front of the card here you may receive a promotion be chosen for a scholarship or find that you are singled out for special recognition you've done an amazing job and you deserve all of the attention so what a beautiful ending to that i am just going to pull one more um from the oracle deck for you thank you spirit I'm also just uh, saying that you, there is a, there is a lot within you that you you um, you take on too much responsibility. You do too much. You've got to ask for help. Uh, you've got to unload and un unload yourself quite a lot. I'm seeing this ten of wands now on the bottom of the deck. There is too much that you're looking to do all the time, and you're not allowing others the space to evolve themselves to experience themselves to learn themselves this is this uh this card here um and you know this is the card this is the saint bernard the saint bernard is incredibly brave courageous um has limitless energy almost goes where people don't tend to go incredibly loyal as well and that is all who you are but it's a reminder about letting go if you don't let go of certain things you're not allowing yourself the freedom to see what comes in for you and you're also not allowing other people the freedom as well to experience what they're meant to experience um so thank you spirit what else did you want to say you've got to is that so thank you, Spirit. They've got here the six of spring and this ten of spring. Be more like the puppy. Okay, be more, more joyful, more in the moment. I mean, I have a little puppy at the moment, and my goodness, isn't she a great teacher of living and being in the moment? Uh, bless her little cotton socks. So um, what have you got here? You've got delight and security. So if your fear at the moment is not having security, not having that financial security in your life, Spirit is saying... Uh, you are safe and protected. You have the whale, and now you've got this also talking about being safe and protected and secure at the moment. Um, and your guides, uh, spirit is looking after you. So please relax and let go. Let go and let God. And when you allow God to step in, then God can really step in because, you know, when you leave everything in God's hand, you see God's hand in everything. And there is a certain beauty to letting go. Just let go. And in letting go, all of that stress and then that anxiety just goes because you're handing it over to the universe. And if it's meant to be for you, it will be for you, my darling. If that's what is intended, nothing will stop it being for you. But if you're trying to control it, that's so exhausting. And all your emotional attention is going to something that may be running away from you or maybe not be coming forward. So release it. 
let it go and just think, well, if it's intended for me, it will. I'm not going to chase after it because it's not the time and I'm being protected and it's not the right thing to do. I'm just going to relax and go in the seasonal flow. Nature teaches us beautiful things with seasons. So you're being asked now to let go and let God, let God take care of this for you at this time. Um, and then you've got the delight card here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what a little bird that is. Somebody might be able to tell me in the comments. Um, um and spirit is saying again um with this little bird it's is that a sparrow yeah i think it's a sparrow so sparrows thank you spirit thank you thank you thank you sparrows spend a lot of time in numbers together it's for security as well it's for protection to um and it's also for joy and it's for singing this their, their song and all of that kind of stuff so what spirit is saying there is power in numbers for you don't need to do this alone whatever it is that you're doing um and you're not allowing your creative expression to come through if you're always having to take responsibility for everything at this hard time be more spontaneous at learning that's what they're saying be more spontaneous you are all right you are secure and everything is great and that is leading to more potential and that within you this is a volcano a dormant volcano so within you there is so much that's wishing to come out creatively but it's dormant at the moment but it will come out this there is a possibility of extraordinary empowerment for you if you allow it to be so that you're at rest at the moment um but you've got this untapped energy You've got this untapped energy but because you are so focused on what you're meant to be doing and what everybody else is meant to be doing and not allowing this for yourself. Don't doubt your um, don't doubt your capabilities, my darling. And the only other message that's coming through for me now is that if within you, because you are cancer and there's been a lot of water in these cards as well, if within you there is unresolved feelings, unresolved emotions, things that you've kind of buried away things that you've boxed up don't be afraid to, to poke them <laughs> don't be afraid to poke them because these are these are sort of simmering they're repressed within you at this time and spirit is saying it's time to to for them to be released because my darling when we when we have that dis, dis ease within us when we haven't resolved things when we're repeating things when we're not letting go of things when we're trying to control things well, what's happening is when we repress that disease it can get, form into disease within the body and so it has to go somewhere because energy doesn't die it has to go somewhere and if you're not releasing it and letting it go and letting it out it will remain within you so um you may have a bit of a temper at this time you may get quite angry quite quickly at things that's that volcano sort of simmering away so that's just just be flexible in terms of flexibility with yourself and in the letting go you're going to feel like almost like a rubber band is just gone bing and you're going to feel so much better so um but whatever it is you're looking to do my darling you do it spirit saying the time is now so cancer i hope that has resonated with whoever was guided to come and see this reading today i hope to see you uh tonight whoever can join me for the live at nine o'clock gmt um this sunday the 21st and um i'm looking forward to doing next week i'm starting on the 2022 big reads uh so uh, i hope to get to you either next week or the following week but in the meantime my darling take care lots of love